Four fibroids have doubled in size. Three the size of grapefruit and I have four the size of lemons. This is what I want now. No, I won't settle for anything else. Uh. Before I get started with this video, let me give you a few details. I'm 41, been married for 17 years, do not have any children. We don't have a desire to have children. So, saving the hoo -hoo 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 for reproductive reasons was never a thing for us. Okay. Well, hello, if you happen to stumble across this channel because you have been researching fibroids, hysterectomies, laparoscopic surgery, traditional hysterectomies, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Lynette. This is our channel, Life With Us TV, where we just vlog our lives. There's nothing real structured. Over 15 years ago, I learned that I had fibroid tumors. I decided that I was going to get a Mirena. Mirena is an IUD where they actually insert it into the who. So that's when they realized that my fibroids were growing at a rapid pace. 2018, my doctor was like, they've gotten bigger, but if you don't want to do anything about them this year, we'll take a look at them next year. The reason that it has taken me so long, I am definitely afraid of narcotic. Been like, I'm not going to have this surgery until I absolutely need to have the surgery. 2019, every time I have my annual exam, I also have an ultrasound exam right before it. Did my exam and he said, when are we gonna do this? He went and got a tape measure. He said, um, from last year to this year, your fibroids have doubled in size and we can't wait another year to get those out of there. So he said, you have two options at this point. I think you're still a really good candidate for laparoscopic surgery or we can do the embolization and the fibroids that are currently there will die off, but it does not prevent new ones from growing. So he said, um, I know you're a one and done kind of person, but a hysterectomy is a big deal, even if it's a laparoscopic surgery. I went to two appointments. The first appointment that I went to was his colleague, cause he told me, he said, Lynette, I do regular traditional hysterectomies. I don't want that for you, but you have to do something. I have three the size of a grapefruit and I have like four the size of lemons. All these years I've carried all this weight in my gut I thought I was just fat. He said, oh no ma'am. He said, your uterus is up there where your belly button is and now your organs are starting to shift. You have to get this out. I went to the appointment for the embolization. I was so not impressed y'all. And I actually wanted to do that procedure. Vibes, energy, and how I feel is everything. The doctor was nice. He was so scripted. He would not let me speak. He wanted to get out his speech and say everything that he wanted to say, every rehearsed thing that he had in his mind about the questions that he probably figured I had. And a lot of them I did have, but I just felt like I wasn't being heard. I asked him, I said, well, how do you know that this surgery is successful? Because in his speech, he told me that the way they measure whether or not it's successful or not is really how the patient feels afterward. And for me, I don't feel anything like I'm not, I don't have the excessive bleeding. I don't have the heavy cramping. Only thing that I do have, now let's keep it real, I pee a lot. I'm literally one of those people, if I take a sip of water within five minutes, I'm in the bathroom. Come to find out, it's because I have the organ crowding. That's the worst of the things that I have going on. I said, I just pee a lot. So for me, I was asking him, I said, well, what does success look like for me? And he said, we don't know. And you probably will not know until you go to your doctor to get another ultrasound and they say, hey, they've shrunk, they're gone, there's no more, or, oh, they're growing back. So I'm like, do I really wanna go through an embolization for it to not be a one and done thing? I'm 41, I'm only getting older, because he said that could be back here in four years. I don't wanna have to be in a position where I'm 45 making this decision again. So I went to the appointment for the total hysterectomy, leaving my ovaries intact. Immediately, I felt comfortable with this um, surgeon. He really listened. He actually uh, comforted me in ways that I didn't actually thought I needed at that point. And I just felt really good about the surgery with him. So I set up the appointment and here I am now. So now that you've gotten a little background of why I am having the surgery, I'm gonna go ahead and take you along with me to my final pre-op appointment and then I'm going to take you along with me for my appointment at the hospital. Then I'm going to bring you along with me on surgery day. The first five days I'm going to vlog daily. So I want to take you through those most critical days. 